Thanks, Ed. All right. Well, a few weeks ago, we told you about a dog named Macy. She was missing for six years, and thanks to a microchip, was finally reunited with her family. And this weekend, Young Williams is hoping to microchip even more pets in honor of Macy. And we go now to Katie Roach, who's at Young Williams. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Abby and Russell. That's right. We are here at Young Williams Animal Center, and they're hoping this Saturday they can microchip a lot more pets so that that way when they go missing, they can be reunited with their families. And if you don't know what a microchip is, I actually have an example right here. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and these are simply just injected into your pet, and all your information is stored on there. So if your pet ever does go missing, they can know how to contact you if it happens to come in to a shelter or a vet. So we've got Monica here with Young Williams and also Jenny. Can't forget about the dogs. They always steal the show. They always steal the show. So tell us what happens when dogs or cats come into the shelter. What's the first thing that you do? Scanning. We've got two different scanners here at Young Williams. Um, there are multiple microchip companies out there. So we choose to use two scanners because there are many microchips that aren't picked up by just one scanner. So as soon as the animal comes in, either through animal, col animal control or the general public, Public. Our intake staff um, here at the Division Street location get the scanner out. They scan the animal to see if they can get that owner information. Yeah, and you can show us how simple that is right now. Because it really is. It's very simple. Usually the, the microchips are implanted in the shoulder area. And so you just have the microchip scanner, press the read button, and look just that quick. The number pops up. Wow, incredible. And why is this so important for pet owners to have this done? Well, I think Amy addressed that in the last segment that it's the ticket home. Um, once we get this number, we contact the company that uh, sold uh, the microchip to this family, and we are able then to obtain their information, name, address, um, the animal's information, and we can contact them and say, come down to the shelter. Someone's brought your animal in. It's here. Come and get it. And you said yesterday this actually happened 12 times just in one day. 12 claims yesterday. So microchips are very important. It truly is that ticket home for the animal. Um, the other important part, we always have to remember, keep those microchips up to date. Because if you have a microchip and you've changed your phone number, changed your address, it's not going to do us any good to get your pet back to you if we can't get in touch with you. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming out this morning. Again, Macy Microchip Day is Saturday. It's from 12 to 3, and that's going to be on their Kingston Pike location. The first 50 pets that are in the door they're going to get a free microchip and after that they are only ten dollars which is a great deal and of course if you're looking to adopt a pet young williams can definitely help you out with that as well we'll send it back to you guys all right katie thanks